In this video, I will show you a funny strategy which you can use on drop zone. Well, I recommend using on drop zone, but I guess you can use it on headquarters too. So this is a uh, I, I discovered this strategy earlier when I was playing with my friends. I was playing drop zone, and I was trying to do some trophy system challenges just to you know get some experience points and emblems. I've been doing a lot of challenges lately just to, uh, you know, get uh, extra experience points because I am aiming to get my account to 10th prestige all the way to the end. So uh, any extra experience points definitely helps out. And, uh, you know, doing challenges is actually a really good way to do it. I recommend uh, for it for everyone who wants to, you know, to, um, level up their character. character quickly so uh, the idea is to place the trophy system in the drop zone and lie under it like I was doing and obviously you should use assassin I recommend using assassin because not only it keeps you away from UAV uh, EMP and counter UAV won't work on you and um, there will be no red crosshairs when they target you. Well, if you got the pro version, and uh, then it doesn't, uh, you know, I lost the word. Display your name above your character, and uh, you know, keeps you hidden from portable radar and happy sensor. It keeps you even more hidden under the trophy system. But remember, this is a fun tactic. It's something that you shouldn't take seriously, you know. <laughs> but it's still, still pretty effective in terms of gaining experience points, but not in terms of gaining kills, because this is not a serious strategy, which would uh, rack up kills to you, to you. But uh, it will get you lots of experience points nonetheless, and you will be pretty hard to spot inside drop zone because there will be a lot of red smoke lying everywhere and you know you're uh, lying prone and obviously they will be focusing on your teammates first because they are most likely displayed more trying to get the care packages and you know stuff so they won't be focusing on you first and uh, <coughs> so this is a really good way to level up trophy system, well I mean complete the trophy system challenges because uh, it will do it really quickly, I think this was my sixth game or something and I already did, did the stop 50 projectiles challenge for trophy system and that means quite a lot of experience points, I think it means something like 15,000 if you get that much and uh, <coughs> unfortunately it only blocks two projectiles uh, per trophy system so once there is uh, once it has blocked two enemy equipment your trophy system is gone and that kind of sucks because I think there should be a little more it seems so small amount of uh, you know blocks when it's only two in drop zone because obviously in drop zone there will be flying around lots of grenades and stuns wherever the drop, zones hap drop zone happens to be and uh, that's why two enemy projectiles sometimes seems kind of small amount, but uh, you know what are you gonna do? <laughs> and uh, what I was gonna say again, I don't quite remember. I don't really have anything more to say, but, but uh, I told you pretty much all I can offer. But remember, this is fun strategy. It's not good for racking up kills unless you're good at it. But uh, still it means lots of experience points and challenges, so definitely a strategy I would maybe even recommend if you don't really care about your, you know, kill amount like, and just want to level up stuff quickly. Anyway, thanks for watching, please comment, rate and subscribe.